Good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's um, Ola Bisi here, Jopa's daughter, and thanks for hanging out with me again today. Um, today, I've got my special guest, and that's Fundola Martins. Let me Hi. introduce her to you. Her, oh, I said her. The Yoruba, <laughs> <laughs> the Yoruba factor has come in again. Our kids used to be um, primary school mates, so her daughter, Kiara, and Toby were in the same class yes. so they're both 17 years old now and they're both doing their a levels um kifa her her son is younger how old is kifa now 15. 15. <laughs> so um Fulana has been a single parent for as long as i've known her she yes you've been a single parent yes. for quite a while <laughs> But she's not a miserable single parent, so she he's having a ball. Ever since I've known her, she has always, you know, been having a ball, you know, going to parties, nightclubs, traveling with her kids and everything. And so today we are talking about something that she knows about, which is interracial dating. <laughs> interracial dating. Okay, so like you know, I said that when um when Lawyer Man pissed me off one day. I just thought, okay, right, I'm going to start dating now. So that day, I registered with Match.com. And because I was like, okay, let me, let me, let me try interracial dating. I've only ever dated Nigerian men, specifically Yoruba, Igbo, and Urobo guys. Those are the only three, three tribes that I've dated from. So I thought, okay, let me try interracial dating. And it's not easy, oh. It's not oh. easy. <laughs> Maybe it's Match.com. Or I don't know. Maybe it's just generally not easy. So maybe Funola will, <laughs> will will take us through the minefields oh of God. interracial dating because the kind of guys that I found attractive, they don't find me attractive. They either want slim women or they want um white women. And the kind of guys that are checking out my profile and sending me messages are not really the kind of guys that, yeah, that I want you. to date, you know. So I'm thinking, you know, okay, for example, this is the Nigerian in me. I want a professional. I know that <laughs> Caucasian people, they are not very particular about being professional. So, I, you know, I've said, okay, you know, okay, maybe, uh, maybe, but I'm still in Nigerian, you know, I still want a professional. Because <laughs> that is what I did the first time I went online dating yeah. some some 13, 14 years ago, when I met my husband, you know, I filtered by, by profession. profession. I wanted a lawyer, a doctor, an engineer, yeah. an accountant. Typical you know? woman. Yeah, typical Nigerian <laughs> woman. And I'm not getting that with Match.com. I'm not, you know. I'm getting, you know, I'm not even, no, I'm, I'm, I'm even doing by education. I'm even saying, okay, as long as I have a first degree, you know, but I'm not even getting the first degree people. I'm getting high school, some secondary school, and I'm like, God. no, <laughs> this is not what I want. Oh, so, for Lola has, you know, she's gone online, she's dated online, and she's done interracial dating online. Okay, so for Lola, take us through how to, <laughs> how to do interracial dating successfully. I think the first thing is we definitely have to rule the Niger like mindset because um, Niger mindset we're, we're all about what profession the person is yes. doing mm. is in or as that sort of thing mm. but it's it's just you or you people have a totally different mindset because a lot of them quite a few of them are quite successful even if they've yes they've not even if they've not gone even if, yes even if they've not gone to university they're quite successful plumbers artisans you yes, know yes because All they make them. a lot of money yeah but uh let's see how did i with um when i started online dating i um registered with uh, plentyoffish.com and the only reason i did was there was a girl that because i was i was doing some sort of studying at uh, Essex um, University, and I, there was this girl I used to always take <coughs> to college with me when I was doing the course. And uh, she, that one of the colleagues that she had, um, that's where she found her husband, plenty of fish. Okay. So I registered. I thought mm, I got plenty of back and forth fish. <laughs> There's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> I got oh. plenty of uh, what's it called? You got, you know, they would message you. Mm. Some of them for me. 
those people that me uh, message you and say hi, I generally won't even look mm. at because mm. that just highs. Mm. You know, for how me. do you start the conversation? Session with, start? with hi. hi. What do you want how to say? You know? Yeah, yeah. So I might start from you that. Reply hello, and then you know they're silent. So mm. I'm not. But then I did get you know some offers. I went on a couple of dates. Some funny thing is I still have a couple of their numbers and they text me periodically. So how are you? I just want to check up on you. <laughs> we even though the date didn't go any further than going out, you know. Which but is it was different fun. because most likely in Nigeria, man, if the date didn't go well, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Hasta la vista. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Except they so... want to get in between your legs. They will still try again. <laughs> If the date didn't go well, but they still think that they can shag you, they'll probably... Yeah, exactly. I'm sorry if I'm generalizing. I'm sorry. You know, if there are Nigerian guys it's watching this and are offended... It's the truth. No vex. You know, it's just from experience. You know, maybe I've... It's, it's experience. You know, Nigerian guys are generally... If they are not sexing you, they are not... They are not doing friendship with you, generally. Yeah, that's uh, it. If the thing started off as a date, I'm not talking about platonic friends, friends. where you met on a, on a plant, you know, like classmates, stuff like that. I'm talking about guys that, that you met on a potential romantic situation. If it's not working oh, out romantically, no. they, they, they you just know, abandon you, isn't it? That's they are not the calling you to find out how you how, are. Yeah. Okay. But for me, you know, I, you know, I went out with a couple of them. I always, what I, because you have to be safe. Because you hear all mm, the kind, all mm. sorts of horror stories. Even with Nigerians, you know, for yes. example, sorry, I had a date with somebody I met on Match.com last week. I asked him for his car, car <laughs> registration. Oh, yes. I sent his car registration to my friends. And then when I was meeting him up, I took a picture of his car registration and his car and him. And he, I asked him <laughs> his date of birth. <laughs> I sent it to two of my friends. Okay, so yeah, this is where we're going, you know. This is where we're going for the day. So please, if you don't hear from me by eight o'clock, <laughs> you start worrying. I worry, mm -hmm. no. So, but what, what with that? What I did was I never, no one ever comes to my area. I generally will make the date somewhere, maybe inside London. I would drive myself because you no, know, you're not coming to pick me up or anything. I don't know you. So we'll, uh, what's it called? Usually, maybe. It's a drink or dinner, depending, you know, first time will probably be a drink. You know, I remember there was one, one day that we went to, I think it's the O2. They had, the, at that time, I think it was winter, there was a, an ice um, restaurant that everything was ice. It was so cool. <laughs> it was really, really cool. <laughs> I didn't see him after that day, though, but because I just didn't feel him. So that's just the same thing, because it depends on the interaction. Mm. Uh, I think the first... Uh, like white guy that I actually did go out with that we ended up becoming really good friends and a little bit more and then mm. you know his name was Kevin really sweet boy he's not that tall which sort of put me off because I like tall men that's another thing <laughs> I, boy, that's that's another thing. I filtered by height maybe I'm too specific I, know. I do too you can't be the little uh, shortest you can be is like 6'7 6'7 seven. No, no, seven, okay that's the short no sorry 5'7 I thought it said six seven. That's like Diane's now. Diane's now. No, 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 but because I don't like short men, I'm like five six, and mm. so I don't expect that you are, you I be taller than you. And unfortunately, it's not that I don't like short men. You know, I'm big, so I like to, I like no, a man that the, to, will make me feel yes. small. So is it that you are very tall, or you are very big? You are bigger than me, or you are much taller, taller. than me? So at least in a way, I still feel kind of you know small. <laughs> next to you <laughs> exactly isn't it i just don't i i just feel that it it it, it causes me, i'm not sure how to explain it but i don't generally like it's it. what yes. you want you know you, so you know, it's but totally even valid. like maybe five nine unfortunately quite a lot of short guys always look at me i'm like don't look at me man <laughs> <laughs> so kevin the day i met him we met in lakeside okay and i told him you know i said oh we'll meet by uh i think halifax or something like that mm, mm. And then I met and you know and I was late. <laughs> you should be you should have known you dating a Nigerian woman. I know that's why you said it's so all my God. Time. You're Call late. people time. <laughs> and then you know I met him and then he has strawberry blonde hair. If you go and check that color, he's one of the you know, a bit he's gingery. But it's not boy. Oh my god, and then his hair is long. And so he had it in a ponytail. In a ponytail. And then when I met him, I went, ah, we we wanted to die. <laughs> I was supposed to be done for 
coffee. I don't know why I just had his head. Hair. I said, you said, if you come there. <laughs> I did this hair. I said, oh my God. Cause if you see the hair full and thick. Oh my God. I, it, <laughs> that's another, that is another thing on my, um, on my bucket list. One of the reasons why I want to date a Caucasian man. I don't want to date a Caucasian man with short hair. Short. I want to get a Caucasian man with long hair that I will run my hair yes. and do his hair, you know. I that I, I I want to do that. It's one of the reasons is is for the hair. If I'm going to date a Caucasian man and the what the, the Caucasian men that have that I have filtered after looking away from the fact that they are not professionals, they all have long hair. I have a thing for cook I have a thing for guys with long hair. When I met lawyer man lawyer man is very hairy you know he's not bald although he shaves it bald when i met him i i i asked him please have an afro please have an afro so he had an afro for me because i just love it when you know yeah, i'm, I'm kissing and i'm rolling my hands oh through my the God. hair and all that so yes i'll quite likely date a caucasian man because of the long hair, long hair. but i wouldn't date a caucasian man that has blue eyes or green eyes Why? That's so sweet. Oh my me. god, they those me. eyes are like they scare me. Every time I've worked with Caucasian men that have eyes that it's are not brown, it's piercing. Isn't it? It's piercing. It's like he's looking into it's my soul. soul. <laughs> and you know, in both people, they like to look at you when they're talking to you. You know, yeah. Bumi, how are you? And I'd be like, I'm. Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> yes. So um, the files they've been sorted now, and I've transferred it. And they are looking at me and they are, it's like they are looking into my soul. I don't think I can date an old woman that has eyes that is not brown. I think it depends on the chemistry, to be honest. I think that's, that's, it's really, for me, it's chemistry. If the first time I meet you, I don't look at you and say, oh, I can kiss this person, forget it. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> I was kissing, I did more romantic. Oh, like, I, I you know, know their lips are smaller, so is it better for kissing? Or, Depending on or the person. Or bigger lips are better for kissing? Personally, I prefer I prefer guys with big small lips. no 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 small lips small lips <laughs> big lips yeah no, have big I, lips you'll be all over the place both of us no I prefer guys with smaller lips thin lips okay so that's what I'm thinking and, and honestly be... the kissing was good there was nothing for me if I if I because obviously maybe first day you give a, a kiss and I don't feel anything. Then forget that because Some you know, I, I, for me, my bullshit level is zero. <laughs> Unfortunately, for a lot of people, I don't have time. But and that's just it. If I, there's no chemistry, forget that. Mm -hmm. You know. But we Kevin really was nice. We had fun. We used to go on, out on the date and, and what kind of dates? Something. You know, we Nigerians. Our dates is typical Nigerian. Is you go and eat. You know. So we do both people. So, uh, let's What's see. The dating like. I, I've been to eat a lot of times to go to a cinema with one of my dates like that, Ben, who still calls me every day. In fact, he texted me the other uh, about two days ago and I changed my profile picture and said, oh, lovely profile picture. Ben will just call me and say, oh, uh, do you want to go to tall? the theater? He's tall. So what happened? Nothing. No chemistry. <laughs> Nothing like that. I don't know. I like him as a person, but he just never went beyond us going on dates. And we have been... On a lot of dates. In fact, in fact after we met, honestly, <laughs> after I, I met Ben, uh, we went on different dates. We went on a weekend together. They took me to some seaside thing where they were doing oyster festival. So you were eating oyster, raw <laughs> oyster. No, I did that once, but I didn't like it. But uh, the fried one. Hey, hey now you yes. have to cook it now <laughs> for me. But they say, oh, if you put the lemon, lemon. it cooks. No, no, thank you. No, <laughs> I was no, like, no. I'm gonna throw no, up. No, but it was cook nice. It. We actually went. To what's it called? We we were in the same hotel room. We kissed small. Everybody slept. We came home. So it was. I drove. I actually drove us there because I still, even though I had gone on maybe like five, six days. You were still safety point, conscious. Me, it was my car. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. And then he'll just call me and say, "Oh, do you want to go to the theater? I've been to see Weekend because I love the theater. I'm not Nigerian people. Please do theater. Do things like that." <laughs> We've been to see Wicked. We've been to see Lion King. The poor guy, I will take him to. to you know, you can't be old. Do you want to go cinema? Usually. No, but have you exposed him to Nigerian culture? Because it seems like it's him that is. Have you taken him to Peckham to go and eat Amala? Because I would not go to Peckham ordinarily. Okay, I've forgotten you're a bit bougie. 
Swalish. <laughs> She's a bit I'm, I'm Swalish. But the thing is this. I am not the, your typical Niger person. That's true. I, I grew up in Nigeria, yes. But even growing up in Nigeria, I don't speak English. <laughs> so I can speak Yoruba with the best of them now. But you understand, I would likely, most likely want to eat because I'm a foodie as well. You can see. I like food. <laughs> She's got her rice and beans there. Don't expose me now. Just, just out of reach of the camera, she's got her rice and beans there. I'm a foodie, so I like food. And I like different kinds of food. So I like to explore. So, you know, go to Mexico. And there was one, when we went to see the Lion King, for example, mm. we went to a beauty, I, there was, I read something, because I also read, I'm a reader. And so I, I, you know, I can read three, four books in a day. And yes, I still work. <laughs> but that's just who I am. So, and she reads weird books. Let yes. me just tell you about that. <laughs> she, <laughs> she reads, her, her romantic books are books like Spirits Man, you know, getting into a physical relationship with a woman. Those kind of werewolves, romancing, <laughs> virgin girls. Those are the kind of things. It's interesting. There's, apart from the norm, and then it transports you. Sorry, I won't go on about books now. Because <laughs> we won't shut up. <laughs> so we went to see, um, what's it called? Lion King. And then there was, I read about a particular, um, what's it called? Um, thing restaurant. in a book, restaurant. About some kind of Mexican food. And I wanted to try it. So when it was like, oh, where do you want to eat? So I researched. I said there was one place that sells it. In, inside London, so we went there. Unfortunately, that particular food, they said, oh, they stopped selling it, but it was so much fun. After we ate, we did sampling of their various food. Mm. Then we had sampling of tequila. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. It was nice. We had different shots of different types of tequila. How did you get home? I took the train. I, I parked my car in there. Uh... You didn't take too much tequila? No. Okay. Because I, I'm very careful. Um... I can drink with the best of them, but you will, I will, I don't drink to get drunk, mm, except mm. I'm really trusting of the people mm. where I'm with, that they'll take, take me home. Mm. And usually, because I don't like people driving me, I want to drive. Mm. So therefore, so you don't drink to get that drunk. much. Okay. Do you understand? I, but I'm at home or, you know, I can drink a whole bottle of wine mm -hmm. and that's all because I'm at home if mm -hmm. I, I will stagger to my bed if mm -hmm. I need to, mm -hmm. do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, so you, you get, and, uh, I get into different kinds of dates. The theatre one, I'm very selfish like that. I like uh, superhero films. I like, um, what's it called? All these fantasies, uh, things like Lord of the Rings, that sort of thing. So mm. I remember one day that I took Ben to, to the theatre. Mm. We watched, uh, what's it called? The solution of smog is <laughs> one of those. Uh, it's in uh, a middle earth. Yes, kind of it thing. is middle earth. I see you know. <laughs> Not that I'm into it, but I do know a little yeah. bit about a lot of things. So that's what he does, the thing about him, and which I found out with a lot of him, they don't mind even if they, they don't find it interesting. He slept, and then he'll wake up and say, "Am I alright? Do I want anything?" Aww, and then he'll bless. go back to sleep. When the movie was watching, did you enjoy? I said yes, and then we went to do that. Do you understand? They they're not. That's why they're not self-absorbed. Obviously, this is those I've met. There are mm. plenty of self-absorbed people, people, regardless of, of their race, mm. and they're just as you know. The thing is, for me, black people or black men, especially the Niger variety, I'm just a lot of them talk rubbish. And what pisses me off with them is they assume that if you're a single mother, you're looking for a father for your child. I am not. They have a father. They have a father. <laughs> Do you understand? The father knows not, how many kids he yes. has. I don't need, I don't want you to meet my uh, my children. I don't want you to come to my house. The likelihood of you ever stepping in my house is almost zero. You understand? Even, and so... For I'm quite, I'm sorry to say this because I've been a single mother before. And I don't even know if I'm a single mother now because to be 17. So I don't know if I'm a single mother now. He's almost an adult. He'll That's be 18 it. in September. How many months? Three months time. Yeah. So so maybe I'm not. Maybe I shouldn't classify myself as a single mother. <laughs> but when I was a single mother, when Toby was younger, before I met younger, before I met lawyer man, yeah. I found out that a lot of guys patronize single yeah. women via the children sure. because they know that a single woman her most important, you know, 
possession so, yes, is her children. Yes, yeah. And, you know, she will want to be with a man who will make life difficult for her kids. So to get into that single woman, they, they sometimes pretend, yeah. you know, to love the kids. Jeez. And then when they've gotten into the single woman, that is when their, you know, their character yes. starts showing. For example, I have a friend who was a single mother and she had this boyfriend who was like a dad to her kids. And that was the dad the kids knew. And then one day her daughter said to her, who is my dad, mom, who is my dad? And the mother said, eh, oh, eh, dad is your dad. She said, no, that when you are not around and I call him dad, he tells me that I'm not, that he's not my yeah. dad, that I should go and look for my dad in somewhere else. That's horrible. But when the lady's around, well, she is he, all... he's like, he, he, you know, his father figure to them. But when she's not, and he had been saying that from when the kids were young. It was a long-term relationship. They were not married, but it was a long-term relationship. So it was when the girl was able to talk, to articulate that she said it, that, you know, that, you know, every time she calls him dad when you are not around, he says, I'm not your dad. No, what about this? You go and look for your father in front. I'm not your dad, you know? So how do you deal with, you know? So yeah, it, not all, but lots of Nigerian men, you know, yes. they fake that. They fake that. That's and, and another assumption that they have is that you want to get married. That's, that's it. wants to get married, especially if you've been married before. <laughs> if you've been married before, you don't want to get married. Let me let, let me tell you something that happened when I met lawyer man. We 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 met online, and I had never been married before. I'd been in a long term relationship, and we were engaged, but it wasn't marriage. And then when I you know when we started chatting, I said, look, listen, I am looking for marriage, and he said, yes, he too he was looking for marriage. And then, you know, we thought, okay, within six months, within one year. And then six months became one year. One year became 18 months. You know, no marriage was yeah. first coming. 18 months became two years. No marriage was first coming, you know. And, you know, I'll talk to him, what's going on? What's going on? And be like, okay, let's fix a date. And then we'll fix a date. Maybe we'll fix a date for three months or four months' time. And then once it starts getting to that yes, two and a half months, you know, uncle, what's going on? <laughs> you know, he'll just change the he'll just flip it and be like and then my uncle said to me because i complained to my uncle my uncle said to me look listen when someone has been married before it's very difficult for them you know to yeah. want to get married again and that's probably what is happening to him but he didn't articulate that to me but now that i'm in that situation now that i've been married and it's broken down i actually know that i don't want to get married again but no, I will want companionship. Yes. You See, know. that's that that's all right. Having companionship for me, I it, I'm also fiercely independent, mm -hmm. and obviously mm -hmm. that was part of the issue in my marriage was I'm much too independent. <laughs> I don't mm -hmm. rely on people. Mm -hmm. If I have to put together a whole uh, bedroom set, I'll do it myself. I won't call anyone to say, "Oh, come and do it," or do because I first of all I wouldn't want you to say no. Then you probably won't do it how I want you to do. It. And then also because you know it's like owing you a favor. I don't like owing people things mm. like that. Mm. <laughs> so I'm just not. I'm. I'm. Very, I don't want to have to explain to you. Oh, I'm going here. And I'm not back home. I'm, nah, I've had that, and I've. It, it wasn't good for me. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm because my mouth. As well. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> my mouth is not good. <laughs> At least you admit so, that. Yeah, because so, you have to know your faults, isn't it? Mm. So, but I, I suppose. Definitely, that's one of the reasons why Nigerian men are not, and they're very patronizing. Mm. They, a lot of them just want to sleep with you, and the likelihood of me will find you attractive is, mm -hmm. you know, slim to none. So why bother? So, so would have you dated Nigerian men? No, you haven't. No. So it's been white guys, yeah, and other black men, or no, not no one black. So how many white guys have you dated? Uh, seriously, two. Okay. But I've been on several dates with a lot more people. So what happened with the serious ones? Because I'm busy. I'm busy. Oh, Kevin still calls me, they take me out a day. Ben will still call me, take me out a day. But the thing is, I'm just not because generally, to be fair, I'm the one who doesn't call. And I'm that's a big fault of mine. I really don't have time to call you. I'm very busy. I'm I'm really committed to the stuff I'm doing. I, I re I'm making money. I don't have time to be, you know, I don't, 
when it's nice to go out, yeah. But if I have to work, do you understand? I'm not. I, I, to be fair, it's to me, <laughs> no lie. And that's because I've been busy. When they call, they, you know, they, I can show you my phone. They text me constantly. Ben almost every month will text me something to say, oh hi. During the pandemic, it was like, oh, so are you going to? When this is over, do you think we will go out? This that. Kevin still. <laughs> in fact, yesterday sent me. A, I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> he's very sweet though he's very sweet so but the thing is with like with someone like kevin after i i sort of broke up with him because i didn't see him for like two years when i met him back again he had a son with a black girl <laughs> and then he left the black girl and said coming to me you will send me to me so he has son. so he has a type yes he's into black girls he is his son is mixed race and he's the one taking care of we took the son from the mother because wow. she says she's she doesn't have time for the child one. He's looking after him. So he's a single dad right now. And you're a single mom. <laughs> I don't I don't need any young kids, I mean. So is it that is it that guys that date um black girls, they are really into black girls, they wouldn't date white ladies. Is that it's it? Or is it just possible. serendipity is it just serendipity? I think it's very possible. Also, for me, it is how you get along with the person. I want to show you this one. It's how you get along with the person, you understand? I'm very... I, I don't have time for bullshit anything. <laughs> to put it blunt, if I decide to sleep with you, I sleep with you, it was rubbish. I'll never sleep with you. That's it. That's <laughs> it. Forget that. I want to show how my match does come. <laughs> so, there's this guy, tall guy. He calls himself... And then, I, 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 you know, I noticed another thing. <laughs> Why? Or is it match.com? Caucasian people, they don't care about their profile picture. Yeah. I think it's weird that we put our best no, pictures I think forward. It's silly because that's a silly thing because your first impression always Honestly, is pictures that you put on there. And people they like, just put not those ones that put chest. They'll put yeah. some that there's okay, somebody in their background, I their sister is in their you. background. They'll put, you know, some that yeah, is just rubbish. It's, yeah. it's crazy. Why it's, would I put myself out there like that? I wouldn't. One, his sister is in the background. He said, sorry, that's my sister. I'm like, don't you have any other picture, picture. you know? No, in fact, they, they probably won't. They'll be there for a long time. That's the truth. And, you know, if you look at those uh, dating things, when you're setting up your profile, they'll mm. tell you, Come this on. is the best thing for you to put. Try to make it interesting. Don't have people inside your but pictures. You see, you but they love them because a lot of them just want one night stand. That's the truth. That is it. So as it is with Nigerian men, yeah. So it is with Caucasian men. Yeah. The guys that I have liked, that I have filtered and liked the, the opening, witty, intelligent and all that. And then I look down. They don't want a um, black woman or they don't want fat. They don't want fat woman. They want I've never tried or they want athletic match. Com, to be honest. I, think I, I, don't, I, think I, I don't think I'll try I'm match.com again. I'm, I'm just not too much into it. I wanted Plenty. to try elite. Because they say that yeah. one is for professionals and all that. Well, we and then, they're lying. Eh? <laughs> what they're lying? Well, a lot of people have said Elite is good for professionals. Okay. Yeah, that is their own USP, unique, unique selling point. It's for professionals. And then I was going to, it was actually Elite I wanted to try first. But when it came to paying, I wanted to, because I always pay. Best. Yes, that's one thing. Always pay. Don't be a freeloader and be waiting for guys to, come, to contact you. No, like match.com has a feature where you allow people that haven't paid to contact you. No, I'm not going to use that. And then you pay extra. You upgrade to that feature. It's not like the amount I've paid, yeah. you are now open my profile for people that haven't paid. No, they'll say upgrade so that people that haven't paid will be able to contact you. Why do I want a freeloader? You know, why do I want a freeloader? <sighs> so when it, when it was time to pay for um, Elite's own, I wanted to pay for six months, but the six months they are taking the money in one lump sum. Mm -hmm. They are not taking it monthly, so that is why I didn't go with with Elite. Now Match dot com, they are taking the money monthly, but after one week, I realized that I don't really Match dot com doesn't do it for me, and I wanted to cancel, but they are saying that I will still be paying monthly for the six months that I've committed to. Ah. I think that is wrong because I should still have a cooling off period. But I didn't do anything about it. You know, I'm quite laid back and lazy like that and scattered. I, I should have cont contacted them and said, no, yeah. I'm still within my cooling off period. You cannot take money from me, from me 
if I cancel now. But I think I'm out of the cooling off period now, so I just have to go and just um tell wait. a lie though. I realized I'm actually I, I did sign up for um match.com. Match .com. I did, but I, I went on there and then I didn't pay, but I went on there for like one day. Mm. And then I didn't like it, and I and I removed it. Yeah. But they still still send they still me send stuff. You. Yeah. But I don't because I I just I did one. But because to be honest, in like maybe five months, five years, four five years, I've not actually really been dating like that. Mm. I've just been so much too too busy because I really this don't have time my, for people. This is my match dot com. Sorry. As you can see, match. So these are the. This is the one that I'm thinking of, tall man. So he was suggesting that we should meet, you know. So I said, yeah, that would be great. He lives in Kent. Let's see his picture. He says he's tall. He's okay. Uh, yeah, he is. And that's the only picture he, he put He has, in. okay. So because he's tall, that's yeah. why. Yeah, he says his profile picture was taken in. The lady in the picture is my youngest sister. Okay, I think he's changed he's the picture. Yeah. yeah, he's removed it. If you see, you see a tall man, 6'2", who is emotionally aware, good communicator, tactile. What do you yeah, think? that's another thing. I like that because your profile must be interesting. Do you understand? It, it just okay, has to be. Him. It just has to be interesting. Actually, it's not bad looking. It's not bad looking. So do you <laughs> think not, I should... Why not? Take him somewhere on a date for coffee. Generally, that's why I do. Yeah, this is why. He doesn't coffee. have long hair. This is why I do. You can still roll your hand through it. <laughs> he doesn't have long hair. You can so still roll your hand hair. through it. So, so that is why I did not follow up. Okay. So I follow up with him. Yeah, why not? I think it, it doesn't... For me, you, especially when I started, it was really just fun. Just something to do outside of going to work and taking care of my kids. They're grown now. I don't, I don't have time to really... No, I'm not taking care of anyone anymore <laughs> but myself. Do you understand? But at least... I'm sending a message to, to Paul. That's the one that I've shortlisted. He's tall. He's six two. He's 18 stone. So I would definitely feel small. Feel small. <laughs> beside him. That's good. That's good. Uh... Would you love to hang out? For a drink. Coffee. Don't for coffee, yes, so because they drink Yeah, you go out for a coffee in mm. broad daylight. <laughs> because there are too many me I can't be too careful. No one comes okay, to my so house. I sent him. Hi Paul, how are you? Would you love to hang out for coffee maybe? Because he said we should hang out, we should go to <laughs> He's a courier. He's a van courier. That's another thing. He's not a professional. <laughs> to be honest, even though I, I did not um, uh, filter for profession, I am quite aware. I mean, if you are, as long as you got a job, then uh, like Kevin now, Kevin is like a, an office manager, and uh, what's he called? Ben is a contractor and does all sorts of IT stuff. But it's sometimes you i i've told myself not to be bothered by say oh someone's a plumber or something i know they have money yes my own i'm is, trying to cite you know, myself because i know that artisans only show up yes. like this like you about say artisans make shitload money, money. Yeah, yeah they do so i'm trying to psych myself out of that my niger mentality of, it's, it's a you know he has to be yeah he has to be a professional so i will step out of my comfort zone and i have sent a message to paul who's a courier driver you know he says he says he's self-employed he has a van he's a van courier driver so you never can tell you know, my own is you know that your right adage is if you can make my life better <laughs> Just leave, leave me, me as I am. As I am. Another, <laughs> another adage is to bad the drip of a or If you close your eyes and say you don't want to see bad people, you'll miss out on seeing good yes. people as well. Yes. So I'm going to step out of my comfort zone now and I've sent a message to Paul. And I'm going to be more active on March now. Try. And I've 
and it doesn't have to be anything serious because honestly even on my uh, plenty no, of I'm fish, not looking for anything serious nothing no. serious it was we'll go my own is go and, on a date go and eat it's just fun for something mm. extra for me to do do you see you know and another what, thing was i i i realized that i'm not ready for dating see i'm that's not ready for dating too. because yeah. i'm still invested with with my husband with lawyer man yeah and i'm still emotionally you know invested, invested in, him. in him yeah so i'm you know i'm not really out of the headspace of being married yeah. to him and if i dated anybody now it would be a rebound and i don't because i don't want anybody to date me on rebound i wouldn't do that to anybody else too but i do want to you know i do want to be flattered you know i do want guys to you know to talk yeah you know not? to you know we it's women just, now we like flattery and sometimes it's just even a bit of companionship for that time just go out talk to somebody you don't mm. know get learn new things and say bye-bye and uh, you know for me even when i all, all them kevin it was just um date mm. that's that was my and when i say it was serious it, serious is like because i we did the dating for more than a year you understand what i'm saying like two three years and then but it wasn't like it was an ex exclusive business okay but i not, not because i was dating anybody else <laughs> was he just, anybody I don't know and I didn't care <laughs> just, so I hadn't there is really no there wasn't that much emotional connection con, no I, I didn't fall in love with anyone it'd be nice to if you do get that but I'm 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 also maybe slightly slut stunted <laughs> emotionally <laughs> <laughs> so you know, your just, shit. I'm, I, and that's because I there's so much bullshit I can't stand. I, you know, I can't cater to somebody's whim. Let me tell you a story of a lady that I worked with. This dude was, um, what's he called? Talking to her, Niger man. Mm. Is she Niger? Too? She's Niger. She now came. The guy now came to visit her at home. Mm. She now made him vegetable and pounded yam. Mm. This guy ate and asked for more. And then she said, "Oh, you know, I made it just for you." He said, "Oh, you wait." So she went back to the kitchen, made more pandemonium. I I was like this. What kind of alak enuje is that one? Sorry for said, non Yoruba people. Alak enuje is somebody that must <laughs> eat, 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 eat. <laughs> you know. You can tell that that sort of guy is going to be a user. Yes. I mean, how can if they even offered you food and you say, oh, you want, and they say, oh, I made it for you, and you say, oh, you wait. Ah, is it hunger, yeah. baby? Is it <laughs> hunger that chased him there? Come on! Have you slept with this dude? He said, she said no. Abba. He's just talking to her. I said, you're very wrong. You better wrong. wrong. Come and use your place as Bodo. <laughs> Which is, uh, I'm here now. Let me eat. I'll do all sorts of things. Your house will be his halfway house. That's you the know? word. It's halfway house. And inconsiderate as well. It's extremely. Is that kind of man that will say you should be cooking every day? He's only he's only eating fresh, fresh food. food. Meanwhile, you're, you're a career food. wife, oh. you know you're he knows you're a career wife, oh. and he's probably not working. Or even if he's working, let's even say he's working. But you are a career woman, and he will be telling you that he's this kind of man. Yeah. Is this so kind of man? you know, I I don't have time. I'm not gonna cook for anybody, even if you're in like, I'm I'm not. I mean, I'm looking for someone to cook for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. So do you go to their houses? Do you, or you guys, do they cook for you and stuff like that? No, we go eat. eat for anybody don't yes. i've been to like kevin's house i've been i've been to uh ben's house on when i was dating each of them uh, but you know that like i said it was a period of maybe like two years or three years you know understand? and i still talk to them do you understand they'll text me i will talk and just say oh hi what's up this we'll still do that but it's i'm not just re i'm not going to cater to somebody I'm looking for someone to cater for me. For me, I'm baby not. Girl life. You just know? want to relax and be taken you, care of. You understand me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just not down for that. And I suppose, not because I so, can't cook, I'm just not. You are just not that kind of person. No, I'm not That's going to it. cater. And a lot that... of Africans, or generally Nigerian men, want you to cater for them. Mm. And you'll be serving That's them. That's the love language. Tell, I'm not down for that. I'm not going to do that. Do you understand? It's not because I don't, I've not had any. A Nigerian man talk to me or anything. I have I just smile and laugh? <laughs> I know some guy who he, he, I, I knew him, you know, previously, and then all of a sudden he started asking me, and I just 
you know, in my mind, I was thinking, hey, this poor dude. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's getting himself into. I don't want to say, ah. He doesn't know what he's getting himself into. So the thing is, a lot of girls, a lot of ladies in Nigeria want to try interracial dating. Mm. But fortunately, because Nigerians and, and Ghanaians have messed up, you know, they are very well known yeah. for um, romance fraud. <laughs> like, I heard Match.com won't even take um, people based in Nigeria. Nigeria. Wow. So, I don't know. Is there any way that... Do you know? No? I, I Honestly... Seems like the door is I slammed think it's, shut. It would be a mistake for you to try and date someone if you're not in the same country, one. Mm -hmm. There is just no need. They are, yeah. they are Nigerian men. Yeah, if you are doing Oibo really, men in Nigeria. They are Oibo and I Truly, have friends when I we were think out that Nigeria, we're dating Oibo guys. Yeah, right. Yeah. If you are going to be doing online dating, it doesn't make sense no, for stupid, you no. for you guys to not be in, to not be in the same country. Forget that. Mm. Even do you, you, I, I remember there was before I met my ex husband. Excuse me. There was an aunt of mine who <laughs> she lives in America. I was showing my pictures to guys there, and then the guy called. It was it was interesting to talk to him. And then he was like, oh, he has siblings in London mm. and that he'll come down because he, he, that he was going to come. And I thought, okay, well, at least a chance to meet. I didn't want to dismiss him because my mom was like, ah, you're always dismissing people. This was before I even got married or had my kids or anything like that. And then we met this guy. I went to, I, so I said, okay, fine. If you're going to come to the UK, I'll pick you up at the airport because I think he used to live in Texas or something like that. I'll pick you up at the airport. So I went with my sister my little sister to pick him up and then you know very tall guy a bit different from his picture do you understand and he was but he, even the first thing that came out of his mouth was so offensive he looked at my sister i was like oh so am i uh, what you're expecting or oh, i'm i i fall short i be i was like maybe he was nervous he was very rude though i didn't like and that sort of put me off him and he could tell that i did um sort of take him around because i said oh i'll take you around so i picked him up one day and took him around and i remember funny thing was because my me and my ex-husband we went to uni together but when we were in uni we actually weren't friends but we had mutual friends so we would always go to be around each other but we never spoke at all mm. and then on the day I actually took that guy to mm. Stratford, you saw your ex I saw my ex husband. He came to me. I was like, "Oh hi!" He was like, "Oh, is that your man?" I was like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> That's how I met him. But though I didn't remember his name on that day, <laughs> I had to call my roommate. <laughs> God bless her soul. She died um, oh. last year from COVID. Uh, yeah. yeah, in South Africa. I had to call her and say, "Oh, remember this boy with this this day?" She was like, "Oh." Why they gay? I said, oh, I saw him today. <laughs> okay, so we've, we've, we've talked about other things now. <laughs> so She's, We are going to have another show with her. And we'll talk about, I don't know, maybe being mothers or teenage sons. Oh, yeah, Lord, help us. Yeah, <laughs> we'll talk about that. Okay, so folks, um, yeah, I don't know how to help um, ladies in Nigeria about interracial dating if that's what you want i don't know but i know that um there are some facebook groups for um interracial dating yeah. so you might want to try that someone actually sent a link to me when i was talking about oh i'd love to try interracial dating she sent me a link of a facebook group of um black ladies and white guys so you might want to try that but really i don't know if there's anything more than that because you know a lot of people they spoiled this game this game for black ladies that want to date white men i'll just say you know all the best if you're in nigeria you want to date a white man try and go to where white people go yes yeah if it's more expensive upgrade yourself and straight yeah <laughs> i think because it'd be a mistake honestly because there is no except, except your um long distance things for me doesn't work out mm. in my view and except you have the means to, you know, be able to meet up. I think it's a, mm. there's just no need for it. In my, I mean, if you're there and you meet up and then you maybe you go back to Nigeria, it's a different thing. Mm. But for you to, but you are not seeing, you know, you are not seeing each other 
and then you're even far there's away. There's too much chance for people to lie. Mm. Mm. You understand? And you'll be using each other. For me, it's not, it just doesn't. Yeah, work and if you're yeah. if you're a Nigerian lady abroad, you want to try online dating, whether it's for white, you know, for other interracial or not, be very, there are, there are, um, there are, there are red signals, you know. I heard that some of these guys use um, models. What am I even saying? What is that? I heard that. Even said years it. ago, some 15 years ago, guys were using. Yes! Guys! Okay, that is another show. <laughs> that is another show. I think use caution. Don't. Yes, don't I remember me. one guy 15 years ago. He was drop dead gorgeous, you know, drop dead gorgeous. Okay, now let's let's um let's. I can't remember, but he just wouldn't show his. He face. just wouldn't show his face. I can't remember how it was. He just wouldn't show his. Whoa, this thing. Anyway, it's just like any other type of dating. Yeah. I will. I think I'm a veteran. I can call myself a veteran at online dating. So I'll do yeah. a show on that. The things to avoid. As at 15 years safe. ago, yeah. when everybody was still using landlines, one of the things that one of the things that I used to sieve people out was, you know, their landline number. If, if they told me they didn't have a landline number, not like now, like we have a landline number. I don't know what the number is. You <laughs> don't, don't plug it. in. Yeah, yeah you don't even <laughs> plug in. But we shall have it, Sha. But then people were using landlines actively. Yeah. So that was what I used then. You had to give me your landline number. And I had to be able to call you at home, you know, weekends, evenings. So that you won't go and be a married man that is sneaking around, you know, chatting with me. You know? Okay. I mean, caution is the key word. Mm. Try it. Don't take it too seriously. I think if you... If Don't be you, desperate. If that's the Desperation word. is you not understand? sexy. Even if you actively want a relationship, do not assume that the first person you're going to... With, oh, so I must do it to, to get into a relationship. You're going to mess yourself up. Mm. because you don't know what the other person wants that's the truth mm. you don't know what they you don't know them the best when you are desperate cautious. you give us you give off vibes desperate vibes and that's when guys you know take, yeah. take advantage of and you. they will they will rob you blind in more ways than one mm. <laughs> you okay. know that's that you're about so, saying <laughs> Ah, okay, let me say you're my like uh the girl is nice apparently. No, 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 not even just the you know uh oh what is it to uh something like uh GBT Obo <laughs> I'm not just I'm not just I cannot know. translate that <laughs> they have defrauded your total <laughs> they have they have defrauded your vaginal apart from like some people say you spend money some people call me vagina <laughs> vagina <laughs> They've defrauded your vagina. Okay. Oh, so right, no. thank you. <laughs> thank you for, for coming. Me. And so I don't know if you've learned anything from this. I don't know. I will keep you updated about my tall guy that I just sent a message to and let my you know and let you know how my interracial my first dip into interracial dating. <laughs> how going. it's going. Thank you very much. Okay, this is the call to action, like they say. Please subscribe. You know, if you've loved talking with me, you know, with my guests as well. Press please subscribe. You girl. know, press the notification. Ah, girl. <laughs> <laughs> share. <laughs> share, share, share. So that we can build a community of, you know, Tata for people like you and I. So share, like, comment. Please do comment because I... I value interaction. Please do comment and I'll try and re reply to your comments. And please, please, please subscribe and share. Press the notification. And so it's Jopa's daughter here, Olabisi, talking about, well, we did try to talk about interracial relationships yeah. and we talked about other things. Thank you very much for hanging with us and see you next week on another interesting topic. Thank you. Bye. Bye.